In the early 1950s to the mid-1950s, predominantly the Westerns that were on television were aimed at uh, the younger audience, and they had good moral lessons about what was right and what was wrong. And they were very basic. They entertained the kids. They were sponsored by soda pop companies and candy companies and cereal companies, just as a lot of the kids' TV shows are today. And Wild West Toys Toy Gun Town would like to bring you some of these. They're fantastic entertainment. It doesn't matter how old they are. They're just great entertainment. And some of you adults may really, really enjoy them. You kids will really get a kick out of them. And uh, one of the fantastic westerns of the time was The Adventures of Kit Carson, starring Bill Williams and Don Diamond. And it was very fast-paced, uh, lots of excitement. So we're going to bring you some of those episodes. We're going to start out with an episode of The Adventures of Kit Carson. Y'all have fun watching it, and drop us a line. Send us an email. Or if you're watching us at uh, our YouTube site, um, you know, subscribe. Or, uh, you know, post a message on it. Thank you very much, and here you go with The Adventures of Kit Carson, starring Bill Williams and Don Diamond. to be anybody around, Toro. Oh, but there must be. The Rancho Van Chenwell and Dossi is so big it takes days to ride across it. And there'll be plenty more people when you give Don Anselmo your message. He'll give a big fiesta with all the beautiful senoritas of California. But what if he doesn't accept the governor's invitation? There'll be no fiesta, no senoritas. But he can't refuse to be asked to run for the office of lieutenant governor is a big honor. See if there's anybody around Nobody's around. It's a marsh hanging on the line. Looks like it's been there for a week. Read this to me, Toro. I want to know if it says what I think it does. It's to Don Anselmo San Juan. Me ha nevado a Guadalupe. I have been taken to Guadalupe to be tried for murder of the cattle thief who died in the gunfight when we surprised him and his companion. How can they call it murder when a cattle thief is killed in a gunfight? Go on reading, Toro. There is something strange behind all this. Hurry at once, I will need your testimony. Your affectionate father. But it doesn't explain why nobody's around. I think Don Anselmo is right. There is something very strange behind this. First thing we have to do is see Don Anselmo. How far is it to Guadalupe? About a day's ride from here. Let's get started. People are headed for the ranch, Toro. Maybe it's Juan, Don Anselmo's son. Let's see who they are.
My name is Parker. Why were you going to the Mendoza Ranch? Well, the deputies took me there. Deputies? Yeah. Those two men with you were deputies. Why'd you start shooting when you saw us? You fired first and we shot in self-defense. What'd you want at the Mendoza Ranch? I was to show them the room where Mendoza murdered my brother. What led up to your brother's killing? We went to his house to collect a gambling debt off of Mendoza. Was there anybody at the ranch besides Mendoza? No, no one. All right, get on your horse. Give my apology to the deputies for detaining you. What's this about the sheriff? And the note we found from Don Anselmo say that the man they killed was a cattle thief. Pay a visit to the sheriff in Guadalupe and have a talk with Don Anselmo. Let's get going. After lunch, it's that time, you know. That's right. It's also siesta time. We're gonna wake him up anyway. I believe the sheriff is away, amigo. You know where he went, or when he'll be back? He went to Los Angeles to celebrate the birth of a grandchild. As to when he'll be back. I should think in a week or two, senor. Could you tell me where I can find the deputy or somebody in charge? Well, perhaps they can tell you at the cantina. And perhaps you can tell me where I can find the jail. Is it occupied now, senor? Yes, by Anselmo Mendoza. You must be mistaken, senor. You must be. But why should he be there? Don Anselmo is an upright, honorable man. He's charged with murder. The jail is there, senor. I shall go see him at once. You hear that door? See. Si. I'm going over to the jail and talk to Don Anselmo. You look around and see what you can pick up. I'll go to the cantina. That's always a good place to hear things. I understand you're holding John and Selma Mendoza here in your jail. We wish to see him. This is Deputy Sheriff Morton, Senor Kit Carson. We can't see him. He's being held incommunicado. By whose orders? Mine. He's being tried for murder Friday. He's got a lot of friends around here. I'm not taking any chances on a jailbreak. An exception must be made in this instance. I demand to see him. And check against me. You got visitors. That foolish boundary dispute has kept us strangers these many years, Don Anselmo. The moment I heard of your trouble, I hurried here. You are most kind, Don Jose. But tell me, did you only just hear of the affair? I knew nothing about it until I met Senor Carson here a few minutes ago. My ranch lies some miles out of town. But how did you, a stranger, learn of my imprisonment? I found the note that you left to your son. What can I do for you, Don Anselmo? Find one. If my son can be brought to testify, the charges against me will collapse. Do you know where your son is? He left just before my arrest to inspect the foothill ranges. He knows nothing of my trouble. I shall start the search at once. Tell me, my friend, what is the nature of the charge against you? Juan and I surprised two rustlers driving away a band of our cattle. They opened fire and one of them was killed. Is that what union with the United States means? Ah, but now the survivor of these two men is no longer a cattle thief. He is one of two brothers named Parker who came to me to collect a gambling debt. I had never laid eyes on them before. It's unfortunate the sheriff is not in town. We'd never believe this trumped-up murder charge. <laughs> Most unfortunate. I shall hurry to my ranch and have my men find your son. Keep your heart up. I promise we'll not fail you. Gracias. Will you join us, Senor Carson? Uh, not right now, thank you, uh... I have some business with Don Anselmo. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, eh? You will see that Don Anselmo wants for nothing.
He will say nothing to Juan Mendoza about his father being in jail. But why, Uncle? If Juan's father is in jail, he must be told. It is Don Anselmo's wish that his son be kept ignorant of this matter. But I don't understand. If Juan's father is in trouble, he has a right to know. You will say nothing to Juan about his father. Nothing. If you disobey me now, it will be the most serious disobedience of your life. Do you understand me? Well, it is enough that I've given my consent to your marrying Juan. For that, you owe me implicit obedience. Yes, Uncle. There wasn't anybody at your ranch when we were there. The household servants have been frightened away. What about your vaqueros? They are distant rangers at this time of the year. I wonder why Parker was being taken to your ranch. And I suppose to familiarize himself with the house so that his story of the shooting sounds convincing. that they can kill you. Don't use it. How big is your ranch? Oh, the way Americans measure land, about 300,000 acres. Uh, someone is trying to get rid of you to grab it. No, that is impossible. My son Juan inherits the property on my death. What do you think about the governor's proposition? Oh, I would be delighted to run for lieutenant governor. With this as my campaign headquarters. <laughs> I've, I've met Parker. I promise you there won't be any trial. This is the brand of Senor Hernandez. I suppose Hernandez could have sold the horse. I also found out that the two men who were with Parker this morning are vaqueros of Hernandez. Uh, Hernandez is behind this whole thing. And he told Mendoza he was going to set up a search party to look for his son. Then we better look for the son first. His trial is coming up Friday. It'll be a mock trial, and they'll run him out and hang him. I can still do that. There's been time to set up a proper system of courts in California. Where's Parker? He's in the hotel eating. Good. He'll be as useful as Mendoza's son. Let's go. Keep the change, honey. And remember, when I come back, I want the best of everything. I've got plenty of money. Cover the door, Toro. Do they hang cattle rustlers in this area, Parker? Well, I'm from not in this part of the country. Where'd you do your gambling with Mendoza? Why, uh, Los Angeles. How would you like to go there? Right now. Parker, you're just a small pawn in a big game. You'll never live to spend the money that they gave you. When Mendoza dies, you'll die. You'll die before you can get out of town. And Anders can't afford to have you around to talk. 
How did you know Hernandez gave me money? And as soon as you've earned the money by swearing away the life of an innocent man, he might have you killed. I had to do it. There was no choice. His rider saw the gunfight with Mendoza and his son from the distance, and, and I tried to escape. They caught me. They were going to hang me as a rustler. And Hernandez offered me money and my life for this service. How do they figure on getting the Mendoza ranch? Your son Juan will inherit it. If I go on the side of Mendoza, will it be more money? The son is to marry the niece of Hernandez. Oh, and after the wedding, there'll be a slight accident. And his niece will inherit everything. Where are they keeping Juan? Oh, at the ranch of Senor Hernandez. Let's get going. I'll ride with you until we get out of this territory. I'll take this. Let's go. Or I'll go tell Mendoza we found Parker. I'm going to keep him under cover until the trial. Muy bien. Somewhere. I was in there having my dinner, and this smart guy. I got a place for him. Pick him up. Come on, this way. Send your regards to Mendoza. He'll be joining you soon. <laughs> you stupid. But, uh, but he had a gun on me all the time. Yeah. Well, just remember, from now on, I'm gonna have a gun on you all the time. Move. Are you still alive? I can see nothing. Never mind the talking. Throw down a rope. A rope? Si. Un momento. For me, it's just a dried up shallow well full of timbers. The timbers broke my fall. Let's get over to the Hernandez Ranch. Let us say goodbye here. I must leave in the morning. I must see my father and discuss with him the announcement of our engagement. Oh, but you agreed to my uncle's plan. No, it, it is better if you wait here until the fiesta. My uncle will send vaqueros for your father, and, and then the engagement will be announced. Well, I feel I should prepare my father for the announcement. Why, 
Are you afraid he may not give his consent? My father indulges me in everything. Then remain my captive a few more days. Please, one. My uncle has his heart set on it. But I left my father to inspect a distant part of the ranch. The very next day I met you and... Is our ungrateful guest threatening to leave? Come on, humor me in this small thing I have set my heart on. I want to see the expression on your father's face when the engagement is announced. Come in, come in. Por favor, gracias, senorita. A little food for the hungry traveler. Go around to the help's quarters. They will find something for you. Well, the mealtime is passed and the cooks have all retired for the day. The household help is also retired. Oh, please, senorita. One so beautiful as you must have a very warm heart. I've had no food all day. It seems you know the way to a senorita's heart. <laughs> Come and sit down. I'll find you something. I have seen you somewhere before. I was thinking the same thing. Are you looking for work? <laughs> no, only food. I could tell my uncle if you were interested in work. Oh, no, please don't disturb him. It might annoy him. I'll see what's in the pantry. and sing for him. I told you he must not be left alone for a moment. But why, Uncle? What is all this mystery? Oh, why can't I tell him his father's in jail? Who is this man? The man with Carson. Where's Carson? Where is he? Here I am, Senor Hernandez. Now you'll call Juan Mendoza and tell him his father's in jail needs his testimony like you promised. Uncle, it isn't true. Tell me it isn't true. Rosa. Juan, you must believe me. Your father's in trouble, but my uncle deceived you. He told me that your father wanted you to know nothing about it. Sit down for a minute, Juan, and then we'll go see your father. <laughs> Find out where Hernandez wants to keep you. You talk too much to stay in town. Come in. Hi. I brought Parker out with me. To hide him out here until the trial. He pretty nearly ruined everything with Carson today. Hey, what's the matter with you? You look sick. Well, anyway, you wouldn't have to worry about Carson. We buried him ten feet under the ground. Don't move. Anybody. So, you let us into a trap. I'll take that gun. I come back on your side. You change sides too easily and too often. One is taking care of those in the house. When the sheriff gets back, he'll have plenty of prisoners. Yep, and you'll be one of them. Bring him along, Toro. I hope that you can come back for the wedding of Juan and Rosa, eh? I'll try. If you can't, send El Toro. Oh, that'd be cruel <laughs> to a friend. He'd be a lot happier if he doesn't know. Uh, 